Whether you like him or not, President Isayas Afoike will say what is on his mind and usually it's quite controversial. This time around, he was attending the Africa Climate Summit and let me tell you something, he really dragged the other leaders without actually mentioning names because he was just, let me just show you the clip, we'll come back and discuss. I mean, this uh, stereotype of everyone coming and making statements, PR statements about achievements, wouldn't make any sense. Let's be focused, okay? I will not talk about our achievements in agriculture, infrastructure, energy, water, and others. That will take time, okay? Now let's be focused. Occasions like this one, summits where people come, do their promotion about their achievements, and mostly PR exercise. Let's get out of this cycle, first and foremost, okay? I would like to focus on my own issue. Now people are talking about the resources of the continent, 60% of this endowment, 20% of this endowment. I mean, why can't you mobilize your own resources rather than extend your hands for handouts and charity? Is there a way of mobilizing these resources in the continent? How do you mobilize these resources? Can you mobilize the resources of Niger that are going to Europe, uranium, and what have you? What about the mineral resources of this continent? Are you mobilizing these resources for the development of the continent, for climate change? What are these resources? Everybody is talking about their achievements in their own locality, in their own national borders without even addressing the real issues challenging this continent. Talk about the continent's challenge and try to find solutions for, for, for this challenge, okay? We're talking about <laughs> climate change, we're talking about resources, you're talking about so many things. Don't divert focus on non-issues, okay? Now, do your homework, come up with a definition of your goals and objectives, strategize, go for detailed plans, and then come to mobilize resources so that you implement your programs. Otherwise, I don't want to waste your time and waste my time talking about our achievements in Eritrea. <laughs> I try to talk about some of the issues mentioned on, on this summit. These billions coming to this continent from anywhere Europe, Americas, or any other place, you are inviting inter uh, intervention in your own affairs. And this money coming from there, billions and billions, will be siphoned back there. Make sure that you mobilize your own resources so that you can be enabled to benefit from resources coming from outside. The promises of billions are no good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, it's the, fo the focus that we need to talk about. You're talking about corrupt governments and comparing them with the private sector and promoting the private sector, the private sector, the private sector. You put in place accountable governments, non-corrupt government that will use national resources for the development of, of, of the majority. This is not a matter of polarizing the private sector and the public sector. This classical arguments about the private sector, the, 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 the public sector, that makes sense at all. It's out of context. We need to be focused on this matter. We can't blame governments and bring non-governmental organizations to manage our affairs. <laughs> that is phenomenal. In Africa, go everywhere. Non-governmental government, non-governmental organizations are managing governments and discrediting governments and replacing them with what they call private sector. Can you imagine this makes sense to anyone? <laughs> now talk about serious things, okay? You want to implement programs, articulate your goals and objectives in the first place, okay? Strategize on how you can achieve these goals and objectives. Then go for detailed plans, detailed plans, sectoral plans or industrial plans, and then mobilize resource for that. Give this plans and the resources to reliable hands, accountable hands, government or private sector, doesn't matter. 
It's not a matter of being with or against that uh, party. How do you mobilize these resources to implement programs so that you address climate uh, change? Thank you. Yes, focus. Don't get us to some classical discussions about what the private sector can do or the, the public sector can do. Corrupt governments will not implement any program at all. Don't talk about real government. Yeah. He started by saying, let's talk about serious things. That is the reason why I said dragged, because if someone spent time, a long time, discussing about things, issues, and the first thing you come with is, let's talk about serious issues. Let's focus. Let's have detailed plans, detailed plans for sectors and industrial plans, and let's stop having these useless discussions. Obviously, you're going to feel some type of way, right? He thought that their discussion is pretty useless because they were discussing about public sector and private sector and his comeback for that was either ways corrupt governors are not going to build any programs so what's the point let's focus on what's actually going to build the programs and then we worry about the climate change because those programs those sectors are now going to cater to fixing the climate change or contributing to the climate change in a positive way but i'm pretty sure not a lot of people will be happy to take that criticism because as he said this is PR and they need that PR when you're doing a good PR people give you money there's going to be funding you're going to act like you're holier than thou because you care about the climate so obviously he is going to face some kind of backlash from his peers but he's telling the truth and not to mention right now they're talking about carbon footprint and climate change and Africa barely contributed to that like it's not even 5% what Africa as a whole, like a continent, not just countries, but as a whole, we contributed way less than the other part of the world. So why are we even forcing us, like you created the problem, now you want us to worry about the problem and bring solution. It's just so unfair in the first place. But um, President Isaias Afuerke didn't seem to care about what others would think because he told them, focus, stop having useless discussions. Anyways fam, let us know down below what you're